15th because I was having issues <laughs> with the orientation for the live. It was trying to go vertical and I didn't want vertical, I wanted horizontal so you can see more of the troll here. We are going to be opening up um, the nomad, nomad, nomad girl troll. What's happening? I was rushing to be here and I apologize that I was late. The Nomad Air um, PR package that they sent me and I do have notes that I pulled from their Instagram on what the products are because I wanted you to have a lot of information because I feel like when things, hey Dawn, I feel like when things are new or if videos are done before the release, sometimes information is missing. So I wanted to have all the information, but to give time for those to be here who may not be here right now, I'm going to go ahead and do the intro. Hello, welcome, thank you for clicking to see this video. And I know that the Nomad Air products is not new, new anymore because videos started coming out when they were, yeah, it is a live. <laughs> yeah, I put on, I thought I put a live on my community tab. Um, <clears throat> so it launched, today which is October 17th I received it the day before I flew out and so did you use my code though Dawn you ordered it but did you use my code and if you didn't you didn't really order it we're going to pretend you did <laughs> Dawn's been with me for a while y'all so that's why we pick with each other but I'm going to do the intro give some more people time to come in and I don't think a lot of people will show up because this is not new anymore um but the intro is, I called this <laughs> the crazy troll nation of YouTube. The crazy, you saw a little tidbit of that already. But just enjoying your videos. You didn't answer though if you used my code though, Dawn. Enjoying your videos. <laughs> enjoying the videos you do. Enjoying the channels that you watch. And knowing it's okay if you do videos to be your authentic self. Like sometimes I'm serious. You know, sometimes I'm goofy, silly, you know, stuff like that. Knowing it's okay to be who you really are. The troll part is not caring too much. Dawn. I thought we was cool. <laughs> the troll part is not caring too much about the beauty community standards. You set the standard for yourself. Wear whatever you want to. No, you're not, Dawn. You're, you're, you're just, I don't know. But no, you're not what you said you are. And I'm not going to say it live. You and I do curse sometimes on my channel. But you're not. It's okay. It's hard to remember to use people's codes and links and stuff like that. I'm just now getting getting into the habit of using my own links to stuff. So, I mean, I get it. It's like, just go to the website and order it. I get it. I understand. Um, the troll part, you set the standard for yourself. Wear whatever you want to, however you want to, and just rock it. A lot of times watching videos, we feel like, because of what they're saying, you need to use this type of brush. You need to use this brand. You need to use this technique. No, you don't. Use whatever you want to, however you want to, to get your makeup on in a way that you are satisfied with it. What you think about yourself is way more important than what other people say about you or what they even think about you. Here at the Crazy Troll Nation, we stand for self-acceptance and self-love. Embracing your natural features, enhancing them if you want to, when you want to, but never feeling like you have to. That is what we stand for here. And I think I already did say I curse sometimes on my channel. Did I say that? I don't remember. But whoever just came in, thank you. Hello. Um, I'm kind of waiting to hear back from Melina. And if you are already here, Melina, I know you're in route somewhere. Just let me know. And then, because there's something else that I was thinking to do in this video. Hey, DM, how are you? <clears throat> Don't I do have lurkers? I have stalkers. Bring it on. I love it. Just make sure they subscribe. <laughs> so there's something else I was going to open. But I'm waiting to see if, if Melina is going to be here because it has to do with her. So this is the Nomad Air package. And when I received it, I text my late night, early morning <laughs> social media chat buddy. And I said, there's something in here more than just a palette. Now we know. Thank you for thank you to whoever just came in. I saw the number go up. Make sure you're thumbsing up if you like this video or just like my wacky personality. And I'm like, there is more than a palette in here. Like this, this is full. But now we know it is a lot more stuff in here. And so I wanted to do this <laughs> because this is my first reaction. And as you see, I have an eye look on. It's not this palette because I'm like, you if any of you have any interest in this, 
And unlike Dawn, didn't order it yet. If you want to, use my code to shop responsibly. Only get stuff if you really want to, not just because. And <clears throat> so I was like, I'm going to still open it. See my, my live reactions. I just took it out. Oh, my gosh, Dawn. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. You want to give me a heart attack, girl. Thank you. That made up for that. Yeah, it really did. Thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up, too. There's three of you here, and there's three thumbs up. So this is Nomad Air. I didn't feel, knowing that I was going to be flying away, when I saw the release, I'm like, I could have took this with me. But anyway, I thought, oh, Melina, thank you. Later on, I'm going to open up something that has to do with Melina. I hope you're safe in your travels, too, Melina. Thank you for being here. And I still thought, you know what? I didn't feel pressured to do what well, to open this because I know like the day it was revealed was the 13th, I think. Tons of videos. And so I didn't feel pressure to like, let me just hurry up. And so I thought, you know what? I'll do a live with it when I come back. <laughs> I I think I will, because you I know your taste in makeup. So I'm I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So I'm wondering if I should open that first. Hmm. Should I open up friend mail first or do the nomad stuff first? Which is going to take a while because I took notes off of their Instagram of what stuff is because I made sure to type up all the information. So what say you? What is the majority saying? Go ahead and open up the nomad, see my first reactions, hear my first thoughts, or to open up my friend mail from Melina. What say you? Nomad! <laughs> Demon says nomad. That's because you're going to leave <laughs> when I get to the friend mail. <laughs> We'll do <laughs> yeah, because it, it is exciting still. This bag, it's only available if you purchase the whole set. So that's the thing. And I, I think they know that. And maybe Dawn said over Melina's. Oh, DM said Nomad. So that just means all y'all got to stay. Oh, you won't? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, and I'm sweating. The temperature here is, is, is just crazy. When I came in, I got home about 1 a.m. this morning. It was like 55 degrees out, drizzly, rain, and cold, all of that stuff. Today, it was like 70-something. So because it was cold last night, I like closed all the windows and everything. And now it's just stuffy. Open the windows back up. Got a fan on. Let me get to it. So this is... <laughs> Look at this. I thought this was smudged. This looks like a real friggin' ticket. Don't it? Nomad be doing some stuff. Nomad Air is... <laughs> and it has date. Well, let me read it first. Welcome back to the golden age of flying is what this says. This is your nomad passenger ticket and baggage check. Date, excuse me, 17 October, flight NA1, seat 01A. It is really cute, DM. Cabin class, first class. I think I only went first class once. And that's when I was going over to Jamaica because I'm like, I refuse to be like this, like all them hours on the flight. First class is nice. Who in here has flown first class? Oh, they brought us the hot washcloths to like clean your hands with and they just brought us all sorts of snacks and stuff. I was just like, this is living life from Nomad to you. And down here it says, fly away with Nomad Air and love the journey again. But doesn't this look like a baggage thing? Because they do be looking kind of... <laughs> I thought it was smudged. So do you guys want me to read everything on here? Some of this... I was on Delta DM. It was hard. Well, going was horrible. Coming back was a whole lot better. This right here is information about each of the products, which I have printed out. And printed out, I do have more information than some of this. So I'm not going to read this side because I have product information typed out. Our new Nomad Air Care Essentials are here with a four-piece collection specifically designed to hydrate through any and all travel. Based on extensive research, to counter the effects of frequent travel, we created the Nomad Air products, lending the best of what nature has to offer with science-backed innovative ingredients for clean, cruelty-free, and vegan formulas. So every skincare item in here, actually every item in here except the bag, well, the bag is probably vegan too, um, is cruelty-free and vegan. And nothing is limited edition, but the bag you can only get if you purchase the whole entire set. Did I read this part already? No. 
The Nomad Air products come in aircraft-inspired aluminum packaging that is plastic-free, plus with the four-piece collection, you get a smartly designed travel tote that is the perfect companion for any Nomad Air frequent flyer. And with this launch, we are so proud to support Sustainable Travel International and provide carbon offsets with every purchase. So that's what this says. Hey, Tanya, I missed you. Hey, Sons of Ray. I'm trying to, I don't want to poke you in the eye, but I'm trying to bring down the comments. Sorry if I missed anybody. Hey, Sons of Ray. Hi, Tanya. Margo, hey. I was so busy reading this paper. I'm surprised like people are coming in because I know this, this is not new anymore, but I'm like, I'm going to do a live because that's what we do. Well, now we do, but anyway, and my face is sweaty. It is so warm in here. Hey, Monique. I'm going to talk about you later, Monique. When I was thinking about something, I was hoping you would be here because something made me think of you. So I'm, I'm going to talk about you later on. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good stuff. So this is the bag and it has a little thing on here, which for right now... Actually, I can go ahead and cut that off, not that it's in the way, but because I have a box cutter right here for the other box I'm going to open later. So, we're going to open this up. One thing I want to notice that somebody did. Hey, Joya, how you doing? Thank you for being here. Make sure if you're enjoying this craziness I'm doing that you thumbs up the video. Oh, this is just so friggin' cute. And they're calling these vintage something or other, and I have it in my notes. These two... Um... Which of my jiggets? What are they called? The zipper chain things. And I like when a bag, when you can open it all the way. I hate when it's only one zipper because I have a thing where I want stuff to be in the middle. So I'll, I'll, I will always put zippers in the middle. Let me know, zipper pulls. Thank you, Tanya. Let me know if y'all do that too. If it's two zippers, you always have to put it in the middle. Like I never have it like all the way on one side. So we're going to open this up. And thank you to who just joined. They have this in here because they always package stuff well, well i have had things crack before but that was the male person you put yours in the middle too melina nope it's you <laughs> oh yeah i saw somebody say they had got blocked i think you had misses that oh look y'all it's a piece of hair y'all know this ain't my hair because <laughs> this how long is this? This is it's a piece of hair. And I didn't even pull all of it off. So there's still... This is the rest of the piece of hair. Y'all know this ain't mine. Cause... <laughs> anyway. I love doing live. just so funny. So you open it up. And when I saw it at the reveal, I'm like, this would have been perfect. Hey, Stephanie, you bought this earlier. But did you use my code? <laughs> Ask somebody else that when they said they purchased it. This is cute. Oh, where'd it go? Let me. I missed reading all of what this earlier. The bag and the patch and each can find it. Reminds you of Pan Am. Yes, Pan Am. So I was like, I would have took this with me. But I was already packed to go. So here we have. I'm going to take everything out and then I'm going to go through the information I printed out. So I'm going to have to put this down and do that to open the zippers. So all of y'all have probably already know everything that's in here. So I do appreciate you all being here. Because I'm like, nobody ain't going to show up. Everybody's seen all this all over YouTube. So we're going to just take everything out. And then we're going to talk about the details of each item and my initial thoughts. And part of me is kind of like, I don't know. And, but we'll get to that. For those of you who are new here, I have sensitive skin. So you may already be thinking, yeah, I don't know. You're going for that the pet set you're using. To, yeah, this is this is this is definitely functional. And you saw how thick this was, and it was still stuffed in here, which means that this will hold a lot. Tanya, this video, I think, for this eye look, will go live on the 25th, I think. Don't worry about using Nikki's code, because sometimes I use her code too. Like I love her channel. I'm usually sleepy when I make purchases. So I, I'm learning to <laughs> not sleepy time shop. <laughs> Because then I tend to get more than I would if I was, like, fully functional and thinking. Um, but I love Nikki's channel. And she always does eye swatches, which I'm like, my eyelids would be like, troll, no. And you're not doing that. And I love how she does that. But this is extremely functional. And I really love that about this bag. So while we're talking about the bag, I'm going to tell you about the bag. Where's the bag? 
I forget to use. Yeah, I'm, I'm just now, as I mentioned earlier, getting used to using my own links to stuff. In my Shop My store, if you click that link below, I do, I'm sweating. Um, I put at the top, my top shelf, the first shelf you'll see is websites to shop at. And even, and because it's not a code, it's just a link to the website, whatever code, whatever discounts that website is having, you will still get the discounts from that website, but then I'll also earn commission if that website offers commission. So all of my links in my shop, my are not affiliated, but some are. Um, so that can be another option too, is just to see, listen, yeah, I've been sharing them on my um, community tab, Sons of Ray. And I've just recently started doing that. Um, and partially it was my thing where when something new comes out, well, my feed is just the same thing, the new eyeshadow palette, 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 code, code. And I'm just like, I don't want to be that person too. But then I'm like, that's what the code is for, the link is for. So, <laughs> and so I do have um, websites linked. And I don't even know where I was going with that sentence saying that. Um, and if you want to just save like my, my links or my shop, my links, Thank you, Melina. Me too. I'm getting it from Ulta. She's talking about the Xenon palette. It's going to be at Ulta on the 22nd. I'm ordering that palette. And I do still have some points to use because I'm getting that palette. But this is, why am I holding this? This is the bag. We're going to talk about the bag. Nomad Air Travel Tote. Extremely functional. I know I keep saying that, but this, I'm just like, yeah. Free with collection purchase. Otherwise, it's twenty dollars, but you can't buy it on its own. You gotta drop something. Let me scoot this way. So it fully opens like a first class seat. The first class I was on didn't like open up into a bag, but hmm. Don't you pay full price for the palette? Listen, y'all, never pay full price. I mean, if something really just grabs you and you can't wait, because it happens to me once in a blue moon, so I understand it, but. Try not to, because it's always going to be a sell coupon code or something. It opens like a first class seat to get more room to pack in items and have access. And so as you see, you can get to here, you can get to here. These right here, oh, well, it says one side features a large mess, mesh, excuse me, pouch <laughs> with top to bottom zipper. Let's you easily see reading comments, skeepers. I haven't heard of Skeepers. Vanessa Myricks do, you talking about Vanessa Myricks has a good Black Friday sale or Inslee Rain that Dawn is talking about? But yeah, most places do have like really good, Natasha Denona does have really good um, Black Friday sales. And then it says the other side has two mesh, not mesh, two elastic bands. And so you can put brushes in here. Let me see. Well, not, not that you can't. Nomad does have good sales. Okay, this is a Fenty brush, and it's too long, so that's not going to work. But if you have travel size brushes, let's try a regular eyeshadow brush. This is an Eason brush. That's too long. So, travel size brushes, and I don't have any right here in front of me. Or you can put other tools in here. And on Nomad's Instagram, they said they put their earphones in here. And But, yeah, if you have travel size brushes, that'll fit in here really good. Okay, thank you, Sons of Ray. I'm so stuck on Shop My. Somebody was telling me about, um, it wasn't Spotify because that's music, but it was something, Spot Something. And I, I looked at it and I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> but so you, if you have travel size brushes, they'll fit in here. Um, other stuff you can put down here. And it says it has the vintage airline zippers these are so freaking cute and they're not cheap either like they're not bending like this is really sturdy which is nice so that is the bag let me not cover up the box i'm gonna open later okay then the entire collection it is very handy i'm excited i think i'm more excited about the bag than anything else the entire thing is 79 dollars, and if you buy the whole set it's 79 dollars. it includes the tote otherwise you don't get the tote and so when I crunch the numbers, without the tote, everything would be $105. With the tote, they're saying it's $125 value because they're saying the tote is worth $20, but you can't buy the tote. And I do think, I'm gonna get to that, Tanya. I'm gonna get to that. Cause I mentioned earlier, I was kind of like, when I started seeing you know videos and reading information, 
about the products, I was just like, oh, no. But I do think, number one, I was thinking, I'm going to be real with you because that's what we do here. Thank you, Melina. This look will be out on the 25th, I believe. Is I do think people would just buy the bag. And so part of me was thinking good marketing if you only include the bag with the entire collection. What do y'all think? Or am I overthinking? Because sometimes I do that. I'm a clinician by trade, doctor degree in psychology. My brain just be going places. Um, now, now it will be going places with this bag. But what do y'all think? Do y'all think that was to get people to buy the whole collection? Because people would just buy this bag. And this would be a great gift because it is like extremely functional. This is definitely a functional bag. So what do y'all think? That they only included it to encourage people to buy the whole set? Because even to say it's valued at $20, you can't buy it for $20. Like, you cannot just buy the bag. You have to buy the whole set, which is $79. But some people will just get the whole thing, even if they want one other item. They'll be like, oh, the bag. Oh, the bag. Yeah, Dawn said she would have got the bag and the palette. Marketing for sure. Right, Sons of Ray? Like, no bad. No bad be getting it. They, they be getting it. They do. Because <laughs> I would have just... <laughs> I would have just got the bag, even though I don't need any other travel bags. Let's move on to something else. Um, y'all, for real, I, I don't know. What y'all want to see? The face cream, the face mist, the lip solve, or the eyeshadow palette? Brilliant marketing, Monique. Yep. The bag sold you, Stephanie. Yeah. So what do y'all want to see first? Because we are going to go through all of these items and read information. If y'all leave it to me, I'll just, just pick up something. <laughs> I'm going to pick up the the eyeshadow palette because this is where Monique um, came to my mind. And let's see what it says. Where's the eyeshadow palette? The eyeshadow palette, none of this is limited edition except you can't get the bag unless you get the whole collection. So the eyeshadow palette, Nomad. I got so many notes. Travel eyeshadow palette. It is $22. Yes, eyeshadow. <laughs> I was getting ready to say something, Melina, but then I forgot we're in, in public here, so I'm not going <laughs> to ask that question. So if you guys are enjoying this so far, don't forget the thumbs up. So this is the palette. I have lumberjack hands. Like my hands, like this is the top of my hand, this is the bottom. So even this way, you can see the top of my hand and my thumb. So this is how thick the palette is this thick. Which is not that thick at all. So it's a small palette, depending on how you hold it. And I can just hold it in my hand. Six pans. And I was watching someone's video. <clears throat> and they were saying how you can do... I'm reading your comment, Tanya. And somebody was saying, you can do so much with this. I'm like, it's six shades. But then I had a thought. But first, let me read what it says. Um, carry on must have... I think we kind of all have these shades. Um, <laughs> blend blendable shades and buttery mattes and lustrous shimmers, cu curated to create a variety of looks, looks from subtle to bold, lightweight, slim design. And I'm covering this up because there is a mirror up here. Three mattes, three shimmers. These are the mattes up here. You know what? A face palettes DM are tricky because it's hard. Well, for me, I speak for myself. And other people I've spoken to, even if it's three things in there, highlighter, blush, bronzer, something's not going to work. Something's not going to be the right tone or the right undertone or it's not going to look right. But I agree. Like, even if they had just done, like, maybe two blushes and maybe, like, two highlighters, I think would have been good. Because to me, I think bronzers are more tricky than a blush and a highlighter. You know what I mean? And so, but it would have been, yeah, it, face palettes... I think the idea is nice, but because something usually doesn't work for me. You love that it's neutral, not too much. Yeah. Juvia's Place Chocolate Palette. Um, Tanya says this reminds her of. So these are the three mattes. These are the three shimmers. Um, clean Formula, PETA, certified, cruelty-free, and vegan. And all of their products in here are PETA, certified, cruelty-free, and vegan. And none of their products are limited edition. So I was thinking like countless looks with this palette. I was just like, um, okay. Yes, blush and highlighter or dark and light palette. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I was looking at this because 
this was simple. I, I had only three lid, three shadows on my lid, and y'all know I do like four or five, six shadows. So I'm like, endless looks with this palette. So I was just like, because for me, and I'm still doing the, the dark to light outward inner. So this would be like the outer corner. This would be, you know, center lid. This would probably be like under my brow bone. Um, <clears throat> yeah, for some it might be countless looks. But this is where Monique came to my mind. And, you know, put one of these inner corner or if you want a shiny um, brow bone. Again, this is depending on your complexion and undertone. Because some people might put this on the lid and it blend in. Where to me it would be like, okay, there's like a sunspot on my eye. But then this would be good for maybe a halo look or just tap it on the sensor and then this shade here but where 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 i thought of monique was well let me back up looking at this it looks like it's for three different complexions if you're fair put this on the lid put this on your outer corner two shadow look same with this one if this is kind of your skin tone which is kind of me put this on the lid put this on the outer corner and maybe just use this for lash line for either this two shadow look or that two shadow look. If you're deeper skin tone, put this on the lid, this outer corner. Two shadow looks easy. And so I'm like, that's six looks. I can Y'all know that's three, right? <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I saw, Tanya. I'm like, fair skin, tan, medium, dark skin. So I'm like, this is this is good. But y'all know me, I would do, you know, outer quarter of the lid for this one right here and that for like brow bone and one of these on the lid, maybe underneath or something like that. Yeah, I'm getting to you, Monique. So I was looking at this like, I don't know, like how much variety I would get out of this. Do a halo look, put this on inner outer corner, this inside, that like here and right here. And then, you know, pop one of these on the center lid or put this on the center and just top it with that. And so I'm like, okay, that's four looks. So we have the one two, three, and then the halo look is four. So I'm like, okay, that's four looks. I don't do two shadow looks. This is where Monique came to my mind because I was watching her video. Monique will tell you in her video, she's like, give me a shimmer. <laughs> she's like, I love me a shimmer. She go into her palette. She take one shimmer and put it on her lid. Take that shimmer, put it over there. Her eye look is done and it be looking good. And I'm like, why I don't think to do that? Because I want to be all complicated and whatnot. And so, but then I thought about that. I'm like, these are great, not only two shadow looks, but thinking about Monique, the, this row, one shadow look. Put this on your lid, your look is done. Put on some eyeliner if you want to. Put this all over the lid, your eyeliner, mascara, you're done. Put this all over the lid, eyeliner, you're done. So Monique, this palette might be for you, girl. And so, <laughs> and that's what I thought about, because I'm thinking countless looks. Like, what are they talking about? These six neutral shades. But then I'm like, you know what? I was watching Monique's video and I'm like, if you're a one shadow, shimmer shadow person, that's a look, that's a look, that's a look. And so we have one look, two looks, three looks. The look I would do four, fifth be the halo look, seventh look, eighth look, nine look. Just using the shimmer for one and done. I am gonna do forehead swatches later though. And if I forget or you think I forgot, which I might. <laughs> Let me know and we will. Do, I didn't do a short for this look. Damn it. So I'm not going to be able to do a short or a reel for this look if we do. Um, You're welcome, Monique. And thank you. Because I was thinking like countless looks. Like what the hell? And I'm like, you know what? Monique is on to something. So if you do one shadow looks, there you go. There you go. There you go. If you do two shadow looks. Or even if you do a one shadow look, it would end up being two. But do one shadow. This on the lid. Use this as your liner. Put this on the lid. Use that as your liner. Put this on your lid. Use that as a liner. Monique, you taught me something. Because I was looking at this like, where are they talking about countless looks? And you came to my mind, and I'm like, you know what? This, this, this palette does have variety. If these are the type of tones you like, they have something for each complexion. If you just look at the top row. <laughs> Fair, medium, deep. <laughs> hey, Jada, how are you? Thank you for coming in. And so I'm like, this you can really get... So that was maybe like, what, 10 looks maybe? That we just talked about from this little six-man palette? And then you can get jiggy with it and do graphic stuff. I don't do all that stuff. But, so thank you, Monique, for your videos. Because I'm like, you know what? You can do a lot with these six shadows. And <laughs> I'm going to pick on Melinda. Melina. Girl, I am so sorry. Me and her be packing on some colors. And so it reminded me, thinking of Monique, Monique excuse me, and watching her video, reminded me that everything doesn't have to be 
like just all the things. You can just use one or two shadows and, and have like a really pretty look. And Monique's looks are pretty. Um, if I remember, when I go to edit the description box, I will put Monique's, the palette is well thought out for size. I bought my own travel palette. You built your own travel palette. Pop, pops the color and use, yeah, yep. So if I remember, oh, Monique, thank you. <laughs> 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, yes, ma'am. And so it, it taught me, it reminded me that everything doesn't have to, it's not okay. Well, Melina says it's okay. I, oh my gosh. Me and Melina did a collab in the whole video. I'm talking about Melina, Melinda, Melinda, Melinda. And then I caught myself and I'm like, y'all, her name is Melina. And then 10 seconds later, I'm like, oh yeah, Melinda. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and we text a lot. And so I'm always writing Melina, but then for some reason, I just want to add a D in there somewhere. And then I feel bad because I should know better. But so I was reminded Oh, well, this is what I was saying. If I remember when I go to edit the description box, because you can't edit that until after the live is over. If I remember, hey, Marie, El Marie, thank you for popping in. If I remember when I go to edit the description box after the live, I will put Monique's channel down below so you can check out her videos. And I will put them... <laughs> It is kind of funny, but still, I'm just like, girl, like, troll, you, you don't know how to say her name by now. Um, and I will put Melina's Instagram down below. I'm hoping one day she starts doing videos. She does amazing looks on Instagram, and I'm talking about her because after we get through the Nomad stuff, she sent me friend mail, so I'm going to open that box. And I did ask, like, what to do first, and they were like, Nomad, 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 because the other box will be a lot less time. So that was the eyeshadow palette. Thank you. I see some new people came in. Make sure if you're enjoying yourself. Thumbs up the video. If you're not, just write crazy troll, whatever. I call myself crazy troll. I will not be offended. So the next thing, oh gosh, y'all. We're going to talk about, so we have the, the face cream left, the face mist, and the lip salve. Do you guys have a preference on what I talk about next? I don't have any stories of anybody to tell for these, as I did with <laughs> the palette and thinking about Monique. Um, yeah, so if you like, you know, one shadow shimmer looks, Monique is your girl. And her looks are so pretty. And I'm just like, why are you trying to do all the things? And she just be like, swoop, swoop, mascara. She be like, I'm done. I be like, damn. <laughs> all right, so nobody said, I don't see where anybody said anything. So we're going to talk about the face mist. And this is 100 milliliters. It retails for, well, not retails, but it's $22. This is the box. This is what it looks like. Uh, Y'all, I, um, okay, let me just, let me, let me just uh, try to contain myself. So, the notes that they had for, on their Instagram post, where am I? Refreshing face mist, it just says the face mist on here. 3.4 fluid ounces, which is 100 milliliters, and the back just has the Nomad. Y'all like my Zoom? <laughs> my zoom <laughs> sorry for how the lights reflected off this side <laughs> so the air, the face mist light refreshing mist that bonds antioxidant rich rosemary water those of you who know me know why i'm making that face and moisture attracting sodium pca to refresh and revitalize clean formula no parabens yada 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 no added fragrances or dyes natural light scent from rosemary water it doesn't say it's refillable dawn oh and it has stuff on the bottom it says dreamed up in the air flying around the world 12 month pao the eyeshadow pao is also 12 months meaning it's good 12 months from today since i opened it today pao is different than shelf life and it's one of my pet peeves shelf life is if it sits on the shelf for 12 months it's, it's done it's, it's expired it should be thrown away pao is the period after opening it should be good for which is 12 months and that's why it's an open container with a 12 m 12 months after you open it is when it's good for i'm not sure about cans though like spray cans but um, PETA, certified, cruelty-free, and vegan, all their stuff is. So, my, I was making that face. 
about the rose water because I have sensitive skin and sensitive nasal and eye allergies. And so I try my best to stay away from rosemary. And so I was excited when I received this package and as they started revealing information about the products, I was just like, And I've seen people spray it, and this sprayer is strong. This sprayer is strong. So I don't know. Okay, wait. I just pumped it once, twice, three times. But it's just. And can you hear it? In comparison to. And it is just a face mist for added moisture. This is the Fenty, and this is a refreshing spray. So these are not setting sprays. But look at the Fenty. You don't hear anything. And it's just, and look how far it goes. If you can see it. Yeah, I think Teresa said it was aggressive or somebody was saying it's aggressive. This is my Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. So this is a setting spray and a refreshing spray. This is the milk. So even though you can hear it, it's still, you see what I'm saying? It's like all the way over to where you can't even see it this one <clears throat> let me know if y'all can hear it <laughs> and it's just and that's it it's not just you know floats around in the air but because and i'm not smelling the rosemary so should i spray this on my face seems like the nomad with which <laughs> This is it. If you're too close, this, this will puncture something. But should I spray this? I do have sensitive skin. I do have one foundation, primer, and the Eastum face structure palette. But I, I'm kind of hesitant. But then because I'm not putting anything in it or touching it to my skin, I would feel comfortable giving it away. But I'm just really... I won't know unless I try this particular product. I'm just concerned about the natural life scent of rose water. Should I spray this? Nobody's saying nothing. Should I spray this on my face? Okay, nobody ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Maybe I'll just see him keep spraying it till it sprays out. So we're going to set this aside. If somebody wants me to spray this on my face, let me know and we will come back to it. Um, the lip balm. We're going to get into the lip balm. The PAO for this. I don't know. I don't see it on the box. It says on the box how to use slather me it says smooth onto lips in or any dry skin from takeoff to landing i'm not seeing a pale on here but we're going to i'm gonna read off the paper that i typed the notes but i miss oh hey laura laura <laughs> We're friends in real life. <laughs> Monique says this spray. Hi, Laura. She's my friend in real life, y'all, that I've actually met. We actually met either in 2000 or 2001. So we've known each other for a very long time. So Monique says this spray. Girl, if my face break out, I'm going to start to itch. I'm scared because I'm going to have to go way back. I did go way back. And my arms are kind of long. I could smell the rose water. I'm all wet. Um, it wasn't bothersome. I don't still smell it, which is good. Because I don't want my eyes to itch from the scent or my nose. You want to shout out Laura like the husband's... <laughs> Doing, you ain't right. You ain't right. <laughs> so I don't... I don't I don't know. My face isn't itching though. Um, it didn't look like enjoyable because at, because I was so far. Number one, it wasn't an even coating on my face because again, it just goes in a straight line. Like look at this, it just goes in a straight line where the other ones they actually like mist over your face, and so that's why I kept spraying it because I wasn't feeling it. So I have to do like here and then in the center and then here and I didn't feel anything like down here. So because it is so aggressive, um, for me, I would go way back, but then I have to keep spraying it if I want an even coating. 
on my face. Yeah, I am soaked. My shirt is like completely wet. Oh, hey, Margo. I read the comment, but didn't see who had wrote it. Yeah, it's not. I, 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 when I stutter like that, it's because I'm not sure how to say what I want to say. And I don't want to just go on like a, a rant or a tangent, but my face is starting to itch. <laughs> Damn. But so that was my concern. I, 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 yeah, this over here, this side of my face is itching. <laughs> so Ray was like, yeah, that's a no. That's, that's a no for me, dog. I, I, <clears throat> oh, you know what? I'm so rude. Thank you, Nomad, for sending me this package. <laughs> this is going back in the box. I, yeah, different areas in my face are itching. Oh, where the comments go? Let me see. Because I saw Tanya was Stay with the, the what it do. Mm -hmm. You know what else I really like, Tanya, which was which was strange, and I'll get to that later. Um, I also really like the fourth ray beauty hyaluronic facial mist. And that was, I was surprised I liked it, and I'll tell you why later. But this, am I missing anybody? So I, and you know what, my eyes are burning. This is why I'm hesitant to try new things. And I was excited for the launch. And when I saw it with skincare, I'm like, fuck. Um, you know, my eyes are burning. Like my eyelids are burning. This spray is a no for me. And I'm, I'm trying to just. <laughs> so we're going to talk about the lip thing. And I did start reading it and then I put it down. Yeah, now I'm kind of thrown off. Your fourth ray beauty, I has saw it at Ulta a while ago, like years and years ago. You know why, Tanya? Because it's a money maker. Like, think of how many brands in the last year started doing skincare and they're making money off of it. That's why. Even with MAC, they're like, what skincare samples would you want? Um, I'm here for the makeup. Can I have a lipstick or something? <laughs> a lip liner or something? Like, I... But that's why. If you think about all these different brands, and, I, and to me it seems more like in the last year or so. A lot of brands, makeup brands, are coming out with maybe try it on inner wrist first. But the skin on my wrist is different than the skin on my face. And especially when I'm talking about the eyes, because the skin under my eyes, actually for everybody, the skin under your eyes is the thinnest skin on your entire body. Right. And so, yeah, Tanya, I agree. And, you know, I hate to say a money grab because it is a business. And so it is their job to figure out what to do to keep making more money. And so I think it was smart for them to come out with skincare my eyelids are burning but because i'm here for the makeup and i have a good skincare routine it's like i don't need you know what i'm saying and i did recently um have a skincare video go live and y'all saw all the stuff i use and it ain't this i mean as far as the ingredients i mean like no rose water type stuff or whatever but so it was i think it was smart for them to do that um and a lot of people are really excited about you know, the skincare, but I have skincare that I, I use and I love. And I stay away from fragrance and rosehip oil, oils, this, this, and that, because my skin and my nasal and eye sinuses are so sensitive. I'm hesitant to try stuff that has that kind of stuff in it. So this is multi-purpose lip salve. I do, the PO, the PAO is on the back. So after I open this, this is good for 12 months. And I thought about putting it on and then I'm like, I don't know. And I was going to use a lipstick applicator. So if I didn't like it, I would feel comfortable giving, giving it away. Uh, versus putting my fingers in it and and y'all know i'm a chapstick hoe just saying for y'all who don't know <laughs> i'm three hoes a chapstick hoe a brush hoe and what's the other hoe chapstick hoe brush hoe i'm another hoe who is it somebody remind me that was one of the questions in my scavenger hunt giveaway i will say with the spray though it did put, give a luminosity to my face either that or i'm just still sweating from earlier so chapstick hoe brush hoe and something else but so we're going to open this up <clears throat> and this says multi-purpose lip salve and it's a twist cap i'm not going to breathe in it oh you twist it and then pull it it has a safety which magic thing on here i'm not going to open it all the way all right let me read it's 30 milliliters which is one ounce 
Why does it doesn't look like that? Multi-purpose healing balm that blends conditioning rose hip. Yes, it does, Dawn. That's why I'm like, even right now, I can still smell it. So this is a and somebody's video did say once they put it on, they couldn't smell it. But because I have sensitive sinuses, it's like my my nostrils is right here and my lips is right here. I, so yeah, even right now, I'm just like, <clears throat> mm -mm. so multi-purpose healing balm that blends conditioning rose hip, cotton seed, and jojoba seed oils with soothing sea berry fruits and camellia flower extracts to smooth and protect. I'm missing comments. Girl, don't do it in blush. <laughs> looks like Burt Bees. Margo said it looks like Burt Bees Miracle Bomb. I don't think, it doesn't say it can be used. I know, I know, Tanya, more real. I, and this is something I don't understand. I'm going to get to that in, in a few moments. I, but anyway, y'all know what? I'm going to close this up because this is making my, my eye allergies act up because now my eyes are burning even more than when I sprayed the spray. So you're not going to see this again. I put the seal down. And we're gonna close this baby up because I and actually it just pops down. I was trying to unscrew it, but it was because of that aluminum. Well, because of this, but actually you just push it down. So I'm gonna just hold it like I'm gonna just hold it like this. Um <clears throat> clean formula, no added fragrance or dyes, natural scent and coloring from rosehip oil. It can be used on your lips, your cuticles as a brow tamer and on your lids that's a hell no for me brows because it's too close to my eyes and the scent even the scent of it like burns my eyes and that's what started happening and which is why i closed it up hell no for me like on my lids if you're not sensitive to fragrance fragrances or even natural fragrances like rosehip oil i think this will be good for you even though i still say chapstick this is 22 dollars chapstick y'all chapstick um, Peter certified cruelty free aircraft inspired aluminum aluminum excuse me packaging that is 100% plastic free. So this is a no for me because of the scent. This is a no. My eyelids are burning. My face is stinging, and that has rose something or other in it. Rose and all the other seed oils and stuff. So I'm just like I. I am appreciative. Tanya said they should stick the palettes and Dawn said I wonder if it's modeled after Rose Bud Sal. I don't know. Um, but I, I was excited for the, the collection and PR. Like, yeah, we like new stuff. But then when I saw the releases and watching the videos, I was just like. So the last thing in here is Nomad Air Face Cream. How to use Massage Me. Like a plane taking off, use an upwards motion to massage onto the face, neck, and decolletage. That's that's your upper chest area if you don't know. So this all right, I'm just gonna open it and read it. I was excited about it because I know Sons of Ray, but this bag <laughs> this bag is so freaking cute and functional. A pack, A plus pack, yeah, A plus for packaging and for travel theme. But yeah, I know it, it's an amazing concept. I think I opened the box upside down. Does not matter. So it's the same type of box as the lip salve, and it says the face cream, twelve month P A O. It says on the back. So we're gonna open it up. Actually, does this one screw or does it just? No, this it might be the same because I can hear that that paper in there. So we're going to open this up <clears throat> and I'm going to read you the information. Oh, I didn't get it even. Shit. This is, this is jacked up. Um, they had the, it had a tab on it, but I pulled it and the tab came off. And even this is like ripping over here. So it does look thick because you can see how it's, up here versus just sliding back down. So you see this space in here. So what this says is the new, well, it says new Nomad Air, the face cream, $49. Apologies, 22, no, $12 for the lip salve, 22 for the face mist. 
this is $49 and none of these are limited edition for those of you who don't know, I have a code. That's, that'll be in the, down in the description part too after I edit that after the live. Extra large. This is 100 milliliters. This is 3.38 ounces. And it says for those who like to apply generously. PETA certified cruelty free vegan. Aircraft inspired aluminum packaging. 100% plastic free and reusable. Yes, Sons of Ray. $49. Yo, if y'all watch my skincare video, I pay more than that for my moisturizer, but it's because I know that it works. Like, I, I don't... Okay. So, it has, it says weightless hydration cream. Weightless hydration cream that blends in, that blends replenishing shea butter and jojoba oil with moisture locking sodium hyaluronate and dimethicone to hydrate and nourish. Okay, check this out. Sodium hyaluronate is the water-soluble salt form of hyaluronic acid with similar capabilities but deeper penetration. Our bodies, I think a lot of people don't know this, our bodies produce hyaluronic acid, but it just produces less as we get older. And some products with hyaluronic acid in it burns my face because I think my skin makes enough. Ironically, I know I mentioned I liked the Fourth Ray Beauty Hyaluronic Mist. I think it just has such a small amount in it that it doesn't affect me. But there's been other products that's like, oh, hyaluronic acid. I put it on my face. It's burning. And I have to, like, wash it and exfoliate and all of that stuff. And then put on, a, you know, slather on my regular moisturizer. And so I saw this and I'm like, okay, even though it's not hyaluronic acid, it's a salt-soluble salt soluble salt water form of hyaluronic acid so i'm like i don't know and some people have an issue with dimethicone because dimethicone is a form of silicone and i did google sodium hyaluronate and i did google dimethicone so i'm reading what i wrote silicone is a dimethicone excuse me is a type of silicone it is a popular ingredient in many cosmetics such as skin and hair care products because it smooths over rough surfaces and has a velvety texture. And you see the texture of it in here. Should I do my zoom? <laughs> Dimethicone also forms a protective barrier on the skin, decreasing the loss of moisture and providing some protection from irritants and allergens. Experts consider dimethicone to be a safe ingredient with few to no side effects. Did you test it on people with really sensitive skin though? That's what I wanna know. However, while it is safe for humans, it is detrimental effect to the environment. And that's why some people have an issue with it because number one, it is a silicone and they're like, what is it doing to the environment? Some people prefer to avoid silicones and personal care products for that reason, because it is harmful to the environment. So that's the information on this. And I did think to you to try it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to just do this face and do this look and just come on here and do a live and just talk about. <laughs> um, the Nomad stuff. But then part of me is like, okay, I can put it on my hands, put it on my feet. And then my aloe socks on and go to bed. That's what I do with my Cody lotion. Put it on my feet after the shower. Well, get the, dry your feet after the shower. Put on whatever your favorite lotion is and put on a pair of aloe socks and get in the bed. And even if you have like dry cracked feet, if you do that for like three or four days in a row, your feet will be a whole lot softer. Like I promise you. And so I was thinking like what I, <laughs> it's like $49. Yeah, this is $49. And so that's what I was thinking. And what, what I was saying earlier that I was going to come back to is this is fragrance free this is fragrance free it has no added fragrance and when i saw that hey shoe lady greetings from california so you're in a whole nother time zone i don't know what time it is here right now i think almost nine o'clock here this doesn't have any scent to it and so what i thought was curious is well this was the first thing that they showed on their instagram and i was like oh fragrance free and people were commenting saying, oh, it's great that it's fragrance-free for us people with sensitive skin, but then it has the hyaluronic stuff in there, so I'm just like, I don't know. But what was curious to me was, for this, to, I just dented it. When I pushed the lid down, when I pushed the lid down, I dented the tin. And this is where you, ooh. I didn't know I was that strong. 
Well, I didn't know this was that fragile. <laughs> I mean, it is aluminum, but I didn't. I'm trying to push it back. I didn't expect that to happen. What? And it is reusable. So some people are like, oh, that's great. Because then you can put other stuff on it. But what I thought was curious was that they made this fragrance free. But then you put rose water in the mist and you put rose hip oil and other oils in the lip solve. So I'm like, even though it's not added fragrance, it's the natural fra fragrance from the rose stuff. But why fragrance free, no added fragrance, no scents in it. It doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't smell like anything. But then you put rose stuff in these two. Like, I don't, I don't get that. I don't I don't get that. I don't understand like why could it not have all been fragrance free? Like why add the rose? And right now as I'm saying this, I'm thinking about how you wish you could buy the bag and eyeshadow. Yeah, people people want the bag. And I think a lot of people are gonna buy the whole set just to get the bag and then maybe either use or just give away the other stuff. Um, but I just thought that was just really curious, like why why put rose in, in the other stuff? And so part of me is just like, I don't even want to try this either. Because I'm just like, a neutral eyeshadow palette in a bag. <laughs> and so I was really just like, and so I was seeing the information, because they were doing, each day they were, you know, putting out information for one of the products. <clears throat> and so as I'm looking at stuff while I'm away, I was just like, because my initial thought was, do the live, you know, spray my face. You know, put the cream on, do an eyeshadow look. But then the more I kept seeing, okay, because I was excited about this. But then I said, then I saw that it had the water soluble salt form of hyaluronic acid. I'm like, do I want to take that chance? I took a chance on the spray, and then my face is burning and my eyelids are burning. So I'm just like, this, the smell of it, because I have sensitive sinuses. Because as I said, I think it might have been Allie Dawson's video. She, she was like, yeah, it smells like roses. But when she put it on, you know, a few minutes went by, she's like, she didn't smell it anymore. But then I'm thinking, I have sensitive sinuses, though. I don't want to be smelling, you know, my lip all day. Um, so I, I, I was just becoming less and less excited. And because I now know the spray isn't for me, this definitely isn't for me. Part of me is like, I don't even want to try <laughs> And let me know if that's bad, because I, I don't even really want to try the cream now, because I'm just, I don't know if I want to take that chance. Because I could, you know, just scoop some out, you know, with a spatula and, and apply it. Um, but not, I'm, to see if it would work for me or not. But I, I don't know, this is, this is. I want to say all of this is going to go somewhere. <laughs> Except the eyeshadow palette, but then I'm I'm I, I don't I'm just feeling some kind of way right now because of the rose stuff in these two, and I really don't understand why I make it a point to make this fragrance free, and it really does have no sense. But then you put rose stuff in the other two, like I don't I just don't understand that. I I don't understand that, and so one of you might be getting a message, a DM, um. Asking if you want to try this stuff. You see that this is already dented from when I was pushing the lid down. You see I didn't, like, put my fingers in anything. But I, I'm just... I'm appreciative that Nomad sent me this package. I am. It's just not stuff I can use except the bag and the palette. And the palette doesn't seem to say anywhere that it has pressed pigments in it. Because my lids also do not tolerate pressed pigments. <clears throat> yeah, y'all, Troll over here got a lot of issues. They do. Last year, I don't want to sell it, Dawn, because it was given to me for free. And so I feel some kind of way getting something free and then selling it. You know what I mean? I'd rather just give it to someone. Um, I think Nomad has 40% off day during Black Friday week. Probably by what is it you're considering buying? Last year, like every other week, I think they had a different sale or they had a sale for like two weeks and they gave their own code and then something else and then something else. But last year, between like November, December, they have friggin' amazing sales. And I took advantage last year because if you ordered a certain amount, stuff was like 50% off. And so I bought stuff for me and stuff for my giveaway, which the 1K giveaway has come and gone. Thankfully, Small Fortune sending three prize packages overseas. <sighs> but... <clears throat> yeah, that was an amazing sale. So I'm I'm just kind of feeling 
I'm I'm not sure. I love the bag, but my eyelids and my face are burning. And I know I can't use the lip solve, and I don't want to chance it with the, the face cream. And so, and then I'm looking at the palette, which, yes, it is really pretty. And this would be very easy to travel with because you have just basics. You have just your basics. And if you're like Monique, one shimmer on the lid and you are done. <laughs> or the two shadow looks that I was talking about earlier. So it is a nice palette. Um, so I'm going to think on this because I also don't want to keep something just to keep it if I really feel like I'm not going to use it. And I don't travel that often. I don't travel as, as often as I did before COVID. So I'm going to think about this one too. I'm definitely keeping it back. I'm definitely <laughs> but I all right let's just move on because y'all y'all get the gist of it that my sensitive skin self is not able to use this they should have had Tanya let me pull that back up they should have had the palette the bag and travel brushes oh and a lip gloss just like a plain lip gloss like how this one is this one is sweet mouth from Fenty looks like chapstick it's just it just doesn't look like anything. But yes, Tanya, that bag, a palette, and some travel brushes, and maybe a lip gloss. Yes. That would have been that that would have been it. That would have that would have been like all the way in. So that's the nomad stuff. And I yeah, it would have been perfect, Melina, right? I would love to. Oh, let me wait a minute. I miss Johnny's message i would love to try it but it's something i can't wait because i got other things that i have to get yeah and it's none of it's limited edition and you only get the bag if you order a whole set so all of these skincare products will be available the eyeshadow palette will be available so i say if you want anything wait for one of their sales <clears throat> so far i have never had a problem with any skincare makeup you sound like a person that does not have sensitive skin i am living vicariously through you john because that you if you saw the spray like my face is itching my eyes are Eyelids are itching. So we're going to move on. So that's the Nomad stuff. So I feel bad that it doesn't work for me and that I don't really feel like trying the cream because I don't want to take the chance. I could definitely use the, the palette because it does not say pressed pigments. And so I could really use the palette. Um, and I like, I like their shadow formula too. So I'm going to think about that though. Um, so this is from Melina. She sent me friend mail that I have forgot about it. She told me when it should get here and I'm like, I'll still be away. Ironically, the state I went to is the state she lives in, but because the state is its own country and it's so friggin' huge, like there was like no way to even, <laughs> no quick way to like even meet up or anything. But she told me when it was going to be here and I'm like, oh, I won't be home yet. So... I know one thing that she sent, because she had posted on her Instagram. I will try my best to remember the link her below. Y'all, listen. Melina be busting out some looks. I just be like... And what I like about her Instagram is she'll show the look. That palette was cute. <laughs> DM, it really was. She'll show the look, but then she'll do a step-by-step. -step. Like, she'll have a collage, and she'll have, like... A brush here and that'll be the color that she put there and then she'll have another brush here and you'll see the color there and then another brush here and the color there and then she'll have like a little um like a little eyeliner brush under here and that's where she put her eyeliner so it's like you see like step by step by step like everything that she does and I love that about her Instagram because usually it's just a look and it's like, how'd you get there? What'd you do? And it not being a video, it's still nice to see that step by step that she does. And I, I told her a few times in messages, that's a lot of freaking time to take all them damn pictures. <laughs> and then to do the collage and make sure they're in order of the steps you did to do the look. Um, and then if she taps something on the center of the lid, you know, she'll just kind of put her finger there and you'll see like the sparkle on the center. So her, Insta her photos, y'all, and y'all think I pack on lid shades four, five, six shades, y'all, she, but it looks so seamless, and it's so nice, and she was, <laughs> when I went to TJ Maxx, what's it, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, TJ Maxx, I posted it on my Instagram, and on, here on YouTube, on my community tab, it was a ton, a ton 
of Pat McGrath stuff. And I'm like, this is friggin' insane. Like, what store just dumped all this stuff in here? It was insane. And, you know, she had told me she had went to TJ Maxx. <clears throat> yeah, her looks are good, Tanya. I'm, I'm, I will be sure to link her below. Um, but that won't be until this is over and I can go in and edit the description box. But I'll also send... What I'll do, Tanya, because I know I won't remember. I, I know I won't forget, I mean. I will also DM you... Me too, who? A1 for sure. What are y'all talking about? Oh, following Melina. <laughs> if I forget to DM you her Instagram, Melina, how about this? Put your Instagram down in the comments so people can see it. How about that? <laughs> but I still will put you in my description box because her looks, y'all, her looks are amazing. She does have deep set eyes though. So the techniques she uses don't work for me, but as far as how I say, just look at the colors. You know, do whatever placement you want. Just do what you want. But seeing how she, the, where she places each individual color, Melina, did I call you Melinda again? I probably did. Melina underscore M underscore makeup. That's her Instagram. <clears throat> it's amazing, y'all. I'm just like, I have never seen a bad look on her. I know some of mine be trollish every now and then, but I've never seen her do a bad look. Um, so she was telling me that she has saw some stuff at her Target. You got Violet, Vols, Cool Vols. Yeah. And so she has saw some stuff at her Target or whatever. My eyelids are really burning, y'all. Like, this is insane. Who was that that said to spray that damn spray? I got to use small brushes for the lid. Melina, I think your lids are more, um, what's the word? Deep set than hooded. Because this is hooded. Like, when you look at my eyes, you can't even see in my socket. I think, oh, Tanya just followed you, Melina. And so I think yours are more deep set. Because for me, because you, I can still see into your crease. But for deep set, it, sometimes it looks hooded because it goes far back. But when you look straight, I can still see into your crease. Where when I look straight, you can't see my mobile lid at all. Like, all you see is just the puff. You don't see my crease at all. Um, so I, I would think yours are more deep set. But if you say they're hooded, they're hooded. Just whatever it is. <laughs> Um, but for me, like you, you cannot see my mobile lid. You can see a tiny bit right here and right here. And that's it. The puff. That's what you look at this. This is just, it's just like puff. And it was like this, even when I was a kid, people like, Oh, aging eyes. Oh, excuse me. If they're aging, I was aging when I was one years old. But anyway, so she has saw some stuff and she's like, Oh, I saw this gloss. I think it'll look nice over dark lip. But she know I like dark lip. So I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to show you what she sent me. And it actually came when I was gone. So, girl, no, you didn't. She told me she when I told her I was going to wait till the live to open it. Actually, I was going to wait till Saturday's live to open it. Melina says, thanks, everybody, for the follows. Um, oh, thank you, too, DM, for following her. Um, but then I was like, I asked her was she going to be at the live tonight. Because if she was, I was going to open it tonight. <clears throat> And she told me she was like, oh, you're not going to open it yet? I got to put a goodie in there. Look at this, y'all. This trick. <laughs> who I always call the wrong name. That sent me a Tom Ford palette. Girl. Let's do the gloss. Because Tom Ford is expensive as hell. The Tom Fords that I have, I got down at either the CCO or at a CCS. Because they're at least like 50, 60 to 80% off. Like... I am not going to cry on camera. So let's get to the gloss. <laughs> she had saw this for herself. And she was saying, oh, I think you would love that. It would look nice over black lip. Because she knows I like, you know, dark lipstick. And she was like, I'm going to get you one if I see it. And I'm like, well, no sweat. No worries. You know, whatever. Because she knows I'm always decluttering stuff, too. And so I don't have a lot of stuff. And so I'm like, don't worry about it. Da -da -da. But she's like, oh, I saw it. I'm going to get it for you. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> so thank you, Melina. This is lavin lavendering. It's lavin and then daring, but it's one word. We know it's lavender. So it's lavin lavendering. That's how I'm gonna pronounce it. I don't know. The PAO for pets glosses are 18 months. So I know sons are red. I'm just like, what? So we're gonna first I'm gonna do. Oh, if y'all still want swatches of the eyeshadow palette, let me know. I have forgotten until just now because I was thinking of swatches. So this, and she did send me a picture on Instagram. I'm going way out because we want to see these shifts. 
Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, oh man. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Oh, this smells nice. Doesn't it smell like roses? Thank you. <laughs> this is exciting. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take Max Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. <clears throat> And we're only going to do one side. The color makes me think of you. Am I purple? <laughs> I'm joking. This, my only other two pack glosses, because I did declutter some, and Melina was like, Declutter <gasps> and pack. I kept this one, even though it looks ugly, it looks basic on me, and it goes with everything. This is Bronze Venus. And the other one I have that I kept was Flash Dance. And this is a dual chrome. So those are my only two pet glosses now three with the one melina sent me i i am i'm gonna do that melina hello <laughs> so i'm gonna do half the lip because i want to see what it looks like over black and on its own i know tanya that's your color it looks nice on you too so i'm gonna do half over black and half bare lips i just want to see what it's gonna look like over bare lip the thing with me and glosses and the reason I decluttered like three or four of my pet glosses is because they all look the same on me. And even when I put them over a black lipstick or a brown, they look the same. And what I think it does that is because if you look at my lip color, do I still got um stuff over here? Let me just do this. I think because my lips are colorful, most glosses just bring out a different natural pigment color of my lips. If you look at my lips, you see how it's dark right here. Let me get a, a pencil, a brush, I mean. You see how it's dark right here on the outside, then it's a little bit lighter, and then in here is pink. And so even when I use this gloss, it just looks brownish, like a clear brown. This I had on earlier, it didn't look like anything. It looks like it would, but it doesn't. So I think different glosses just bring out a natural pigment, pigment in my lip. And so even though the glosses I decluttered, they were distinctly different colors. When I put them on, they look the same. And I'm like, why have all of these if they look the same? But I think it's just because my natural lip is at least like three different shades, if not four. And so I think that's why that does that. This top lip over here is looking janky. Hot chocolate. Yeah, it is. And it's time for me to get a new one. It wasn't a declutter with two when I saw them at TJ Maxx. Yeah. So we're going to let that dry down. So we're going to take this and put this over here. <clears throat> Just to see. Now you see my natural lip color. There's nothing here and it's dry. So like there's no chapstick, no gloss, no nothing. So we're going to put this over here. You know what? I'm surprised that this is showing up purple. <laughs> this is showing up. Are you serious? Because her other glosses, they didn't look like anything. Like, for real. This almost reminds me of that lavender lip gloss Nomad had from their Fête de Provence. I don't have any of those left. I did end up just decluttering those. This is pretty. Thank you, Monique. This, you know what? I'm surprised this shows up. This is dry. This is dry. We're going to get to it. But why I look what I wear this with? Because I always use, well, not always, but I usually do um, a dark, smoky, vampy, grungy eye look. I'm going to use a lipstick applicator <clears throat> because I don't want to get the wine black. <laughs> you did tell me it was your Melina. I didn't believe. Well, yeah, I didn't. I didn't believe you. Because glosses usually just look the same on me. Even when they're different colors. Oh, my freaking. Ooh, y'all great. Make me, like, curse and go to hell. I don't always do a lot of cool tone looks. But you know what? That That is a cool tone palette. She's talking about the new mini Xenon. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, girl. I know I got quiet. Because this shows up, I don't want to get it on my skin. What? Melina, you did not lie. She kept saying, I'm going to get it for you because I think it'll look nice over black lip. Look. And you see the dual chrome is making it look like a dual chrome. Because straight on, you see. I mean, you. It, I don't even know what to call it. What do y'all call this? Because it's, is it the dual? I don't. I guess it is a dual chrome, like lavender and, and purple. And it has the reflex in it. I like this like this, but I love it like this. Thank you, Melina. It is Sun's Array. Like, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I missed somebody's comment. Let me see. Something about a grungy look. DM says it looks nice with a dark grungy look. Yes, and when I do the grungies or the smoky or the swamp water looks, I do usually do a dark lip. Thank you, Melina. Oh, my gosh. Um... Now I don't know whether to do the forehead swatches from the Nomad palette or just get into this Tom Ford. Because I'm like hella excited now because this is bomb. This, this, mm, I'm stuttering so y'all know. So open up <laughs> Tom Ford or do swatches real quick. It's only six shades, but then there's only four in here though though. So what y'all, what would y'all prefer me to do right now? Just knock this out, get this out of the way so we can finally put Nomad to rest until I figure out what to do with it. Or open up the rest of the friend mail, Tom Ford. What do y'all say? What do y'all say? I'm opening both boxes, so I'll be ready for whoever answers first or whoever's answer I see first. That's what we're going to do. <clears throat> the Tom Ford quad is, ooh, 29 Desert Fox, it says on the top of the box. So what am I doing, y'all? No bad Tom Ford. Okay, Sons of Ray. It's Tom Ford. I know, and I'm taking it out right now because I know it's in the sleeve. This, this, I like how, it's time for Tuesday. <laughs> I like how some angles you don't see it, but you see just like a shine. But then when you turn, it's like, wait, what? Like, look, like right here. Oh my gosh. So time for it, as we know, comes in a pouch. I only have left because I decluttered some that I got from the CCO. I have two limited edition ones is what I have left. The non-limited edition just comes in a brown one, a brown uh, packaging. Open it. I am Monique is right here, girl. <laughs> oh, wow. She cute. <laughs> I was taking out the clip. The um, I can't even talk. But this is what it looks like. Why come is looking like Nomad, though? <laughs> This is, no, it doesn't. No, it does not at all. I swear my eyes be crossed or foggy. No, it does not at all. This is reminding me of something. What do I have? I'm not going to figure that out right now. But this is, this is cute. So it looks like three, I don't know if they're all mattes. I don't know. We're going to swatch them. Think it's a cream formula. It's kind of looking like that. So we're going to swatch them all. Four-sided sponge tip applicator. This top shade. I need to put these somewhere other than where we're going to put the Nomad. I'm tapping it in because it flaked up a little bit. I was being too aggressive. I'm so excited about the freaking lip. The Eason palette are the tones. The East, I only have the Eason face palette. You know what though? You're right. Like these two right, yep, these two right here. So this is this top shade. Hmm, let's put them down here. So that's that shade. We're going to come down to this one. These are so, time is smooth, y'all. I did not think that was going to show up like that. That's pretty. What side of the, it was this side. This is pretty. Thank you all for the thumbs up. This would be a nice blend out or brow bone because that does kind of just blend in. So you see what I'm saying? That just kind of blends in. 
turning it over to the side that had this yellow. This is a pretty shade. This showed up brighter. Did I just spit? <laughs> this showed up brighter than I thought it would. So we're going to switch it over to the clean side. We're going to go into this one. Oh, thank you for being here, Jana. You have a good night. And so we're going to go. Thank you for hanging out. This shade. That's nice. I'm just going to blend that out to see what it does. It blends out pretty consistent. This is nice. We're going to turn it over from this side to the clean side. And we're going to go down to this one. These, this is nice. Like these are, they show up richer than they, well, I guess they look like, they look like, that's nice. This is reminding me of one of them extreme something shades in the Pat McGrath Mothership palettes. That lower left color, like the deepest one in all the motherships. This is pretty. Alright, so y'all know I'm going to be using this palette. That's pretty. This is a pretty palette. Thank you, Melina. Oop, did I dip in the wrong shade? This is pretty. And you know what it surprises me because, well, I guess they are true to pan. But when I looked in it, it looked a little, I don't want to say dull, but it didn't look, um, what's the word? Like th this didn't look like, I didn't think that was going to do that. You know what it is? Because some of Tom's shadows, even if they look dark in the pan, when you put them on, they look sheer. And so I was thinking these were going to be sheer. And that's why the first two I had, I got rid of. This is very rich. That's this one. And this is this one. These are nice. This is the gold. And that's that one. This is a keeper. Thank you, Melina. Then I got to really make sure I say your name right. You done gave me Tom Ford and Pat McGrath. <laughs> now I really got to say her name right now. But I got you some followers on Instagram. So we good. All right, so <laughs> this this is nice. It reminds you of, oh, I didn't think about that, Sunsa Ray. She said it reminds her of the um, Natasha Denona Baby Gold, and I don't have that one. This is pretty. This is pretty. Are we going to jump into this super quick? We got the three mats. I completely, you know why I forgot to do? Oh, you, you're not supposed to drop your makeup, Sunsa Ray. That's this shade. Are you? All right, let me go back in. I was rushing to do the live because I started this look. It was about 20 minutes to eight. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, let me knock this out. And y'all know my videos be like 40, 50 minutes. So to like do a look at 20, I was just like, <laughs> and so that's how come I forgot to do. That's this shade, y'all. Like what, what? Um, Okay. Moving on to this one. So that's why I forgot to do the real slash um, short because I was rushing. And because of how I was holding my phone, these colors seem weird to me. You know what? I think because they're cool tone. Does it mean it's your phone? No, I'm not going to get it, Tanya. And I thought about getting the new Natasha Trio Chrome, but the, trio, the actual Trio Chrome shades in Trio Chrome I had an issue with. I love the mattes. But, um, and I'm thinking I do have other blues. So this shade is this one. All right, we're going to move on to this one. I think because it's cool tone. I don't prefer me in cool tones, even though sometimes if they lean neutral on me, you know, I could rock with that. This one I like because I like dark. <laughs> But like this one, that's a no because that's like kind of borderline, sorry for poking your eye, borderline dust, dusty ashy on me. This I don't like because it's, it's, it is cool tone and this is kind of cool too, but it's dark. This would be a cliche for you, this first one, um, DM. <laughs> they are pretty, but for me, I call myself Caramel because my ex-husband, before he became my ex-husband, used to call me Caramel. And I'm like, you know what? That is kind of my complexion, right? But anyway, <laughs> so now we're going to go into the shimmer. So we're going to take this one. I didn't even say the shades. This is Let's Take Off, Up, Up, and Away, 
fly the skies. Now what's interesting is that skies, the clouds, the blue, this is fly the skies. That would be like the, the airplane wheel. <laughs> Alright, I'm tripping. I'm delusional. I'm sleep deprived. Okay, find your wings. This one. It is. This is way darker. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't. You know what? Well, I am using sponge tips. Because I remember saying I'm trying to think of what to do with this stuff. And I want to dug in the palette. This one. Yeah, this, 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 this is me. That's nice. This is Find Your Wings. So this is the first shimmer. These are soft. So I swirled the sponge tip. Then it flakes up. So then I just go back and press it back in. <laughs> but then it's not a lot on the brush because, well, the sponge tip because I pressed it back in. These are soft. And the reason I'm using the sponge tip is one, not to mess up any more brushes. And number two, I never use my fingers for swatches because I don't like using my fingers for makeup. So that's this one, which is Find Your Wings. That one's true to pan. That's cute. Get a new. A clean one, follow the sun, which is this one. Up, up in a way looks light in the pan. Yeah, it does, but then it shows up. But then it is kind of true to pan. And also, <clears throat> take into consideration like complexion and undertone, because that makes a difference in how shades show up. This just chunked up. Like, this is a chunk right here. So I'm kind of trying to. These are soft. I'm trying to press it back in so it doesn't like flake off. These are soft. I do like no mesh formula, unless it's like that streaky, um, not streaky, but that swirl pattern thing they had, those didn't work for me at all. And some of their other palettes, they have pressed pigments in, which my lids don't tolerate. So this is Follow the Sun, that's that shade. I don't know y'all I'm looking at this and I'm looking at this and I'm like hmm. so we got one more this one right here which is see the world oh I didn't even show y'all the emblems in it and I don't mess them up this one has an airplane in it upside down airplane this had nomad symbol this had a nomad symbol this had an airplane in it this, I think, had a nomad symbol. I don't know what was in here because I ruined it already. Just swirling it, this bunch of in there. So, where are we? See the world. This one right here. And this is the last one of the six in here. They are really, really soft. Like, and you can see where I um, swirled the sponge tip. I do, too. Like, this is a really nice formula, DM. This is nice. I like this one too. That would be a hella beautiful smoky eye. When I was saying like doing two tone looks, like these two, because this is the shimmer and this is this one. That would be like the perfect smoky eye. These two right here. And if you have to have shimmer, just I mean, you know, something bright, just pop one of these. One of these two, like one of the center of the lid. I like I like these two. These the formula is nice, I will say that. So yeah. So that's this palette up here. And what I'm doing is is I don't like to have dupes in my collection. And I'm not saying that this is duping for that, but when I'm looking at the colors, you know, we have the dark, even though this is like a nice chocolate. <laughs> but I'm looking at what would I do with it. And so we this is a bright gold where this is kind of Muted. This I don't like at all because it's too light for me, too cool tone for me. So I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to have to think about what to do with this stuff. But definitely, Tom is a keeper. Hell yeah, the gloss is the keeper. I'm just still shocked it showed up on its own because. Thank you, Melina. <laughs> so, y'all, listen, this is going to be it for this video. I have never done a live this long. We did a lot of stuff. I read a lot of information. I appreciate those of you who were here when I started and that are still here because this is 90 minutes out of your life. I don't take that lightly. I, I very much appreciate you being here. Um, <clears throat> and thank you, Dawn, for the super chat. I am digging it. And again, this look will be 
open not open it'll be live on the 25th thank you tanya love the bronze and gold these down here dm or the nomad tom or nomad that you're talking about you knew i would and you told me you thought i would well you told me i was going to like the gloss <laughs> But yeah, these, these are my colors right here. And this is an easy quad to use. So I will definitely be doing looks with those. So, but yeah, so we're going to go. This was a lot. It was a long time. Thank you so much. Um, after this is over, I will edit the description box information. So links to stuff will be down there. I will put Monique's um, YouTube down there. I will, put, I will put Melina's Instagram down there for those of you who weren't able to catch it. Um... You're welcome, Oni. Thank you. Because I'm like, this little palette, but I'm like, you can do a lot with that. And so I, I really do thank you for reminding me that you, I don't need to put six shades on my lid. <laughs> just put one and then it could be okay. Now, whether I will do a one shadow look, I don't know. But just to be reminded that there are other ways to do makeup. And so that was very refreshing, um, seeing your videos. And you're welcome, Alina. So we're going to go... Um, yeah, we'll see what will happen with this stuff. Um, I don't know. The no mess I'm talking about. And so thank you for being here, everybody. Thank you, Dawn. Good night, everyone. Or morning, wherever you are in the world. And as always, what? Self-acceptance and self-love. That is the Crazy Troll Nation way. You all will see me in the next video. Don't forget to, I think everybody did thumbs up already. Um, feel free to share my videos, shop my links, save my links, give my links to other people. One thing about the Amazon link that I have, it is affiliated. The link that it goes to, it goes to Cody Lotion, which is my favorite lotion. You don't have to buy the lotion. If you just click on the link, anything you shop on Amazon will count. So feel free to keep that link and to share that link with other people if you or people you know shop on Amazon. But we're not going to make this into an infomercial because we've done a lot. We've done a lot. And I appreciate you for being here. Um, but you love when I do. Oh, I don't know. That would be a two, that would be a short. That would be a YouTube short. Be like, why don't y'all look? Would that be it? <laughs> so I don't know. Because I like to, I like to just, it would be a challenge though, but I just always want to do more stuff. And because I'm not working, I don't have to rush out the door. Beans and booty to YouTube on. <laughs> So I'm really going to go because some of y'all don't <coughs> will have me here all night long. So thank you all for being here. And, you know, check out my playlist if you're not familiar with my channel. <laughs> hey, beans and booty. I know. I love that palette. Um, yeah, so I'm really going to go. I'm really, really, really going to go. Thank you all for being here. This is always so much fun doing lives. And I appreciate you each for joining in. And for all the comments and just helping me get through all the nomad stuff. And yeah, my eyelids are still burning. So I'm going to go wash my face and do some stuff. But you all will see me soon. Thanks. Good night.